The Angara rocket family is a family of space launch vehicles being developed by the Moscow-based Khrunichev State Research and Production Space Center. The rockets are to put between 3,800 and 24,500 kg into low Earth orbit and are intended, along with Soyuz 2 variants, to replace several existing launch vehicles. History After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, many formerly Soviet launch vehicles were built in or required components from companies now located in Ukraine, such as Yuzhnoi Design Bureau, which produced Zenit 2, and Yuzhmash, which produced DNEPR and Cyclon. Additionally, the Soviet Union's main spaceport, Baikonur Cosmodrome, was located in Kazakhstan, and Russia encountered difficulties negotiating for its use. This led to the decision in 1992 to develop a new entirely Russian launch vehicle, named Angara, to replace the rockets now built outside of the country, and ensure Russian access to space without Baikonur. It was decided that this vehicle should ideally use the partially completed Zenit 2 launch pad at the Russian Polsetsk spaceport, and be able to launch military satellites into geosynchronous orbit, which Proton could not do to lack of a launch pad at Polsetsk Cosmodrome. Several companies submitted bids for the new rocket, and in 1994 Khrunichev, the developer of Proton, was selected as the winner. The commercial success of Proton over the next two decades would be an advantage to Khrunichev, as the Angara project immediately ran into funding difficulties from the cash strapped Russian government. Khrunichev's initial design called for the use of a modified Road 170 for first stage propulsion and a liquid hydrogen powered second stage. By 1997, the hydrogen-powered second stage had been abandoned in favor of kerosene, and the Road 170 was replaced with a modular design which would be powered by the new Road 191, a one-chamber engine derived from the four-chamber Road 170. In late 1997 Khrunichev was given approval from the Russian government to proceed with their new design, which would both be able to replace the ICBM-based DNEPR, Cyclon, and Rokot with its smaller variants, as well as be able to launch satellites into geostationary orbit from Pulsetsk with the Proton class Angara A5. This new modular rocket would require construction of a new launch pad. By 2004, the design of Angara had taken shape and the project proceeded with development of the launchers. In 2008, NPO Energomash, the builder of the Road 191, reported that the engine had completed development and burn tests and was ready for manufacturing and delivery, and in January 2009 the first completed Angara first stage was delivered to Khrunichev. The next year Vladimir Nesterov, director general of Khrunichev, announced that the first flight test of Angara would be scheduled for 2013, and in 2013 the first prototype Angara rocket arrived in Pulsetsk. In 2014, 22 years after Angara's original conception, the first launch took place on July 9, a suborbital test flight from the northern Pulsetsk Cosmodrome. An Angara A5 was launched into geosynchronous orbit in December 2014. Topic: Vehicle description. Topic: URM1 first stage and boosters. The Universal Rocket Module forms the core of every Angara vehicle. 
In the Angara A5, four additional URM1s act as boosters. Each URM-1 is powered by a single NPO Energomash Road 191 burning liquid oxygen and RP-1 kerosene. The Road 191 is a single-chamber engine derived from the four-chamber Road 170, originally developed for the boosters powering the Energia launch vehicle. Zenit's four-chamber road 171 and the dual-chamber road 180 powering ULA's Atlas V are also derivatives of the road 170, as is the road 193 proposed as a replacement for the 1970s era NK33 powering the first stage of the Soyuz 221V. The road 191 is capable of throttling down to at least 30%, allowing core URM1 stages to conserve propellant until booster URM1 separation. The URM1 consists of a liquid oxygen tank at the top, followed by an intertank structure containing flight control and telemetry equipment, with the kerosene tank below that. At the base of the module is a propulsion bay containing engine gimballing equipment for vehicle pitch and yaw and thrusters for roll control. <laughs> URM-2, second stage The second stage of the Angara, designated URM-2, uses one KBKHARD0124A engine also burning liquid oxygen and kerosene. The RD-0124A is nearly identical to the Road 0124 currently powering the second stage of Soyuz 2, designated Block I. The URM-2 has a diameter of 3.6 m for the Angara A5 and other proposed variants. The Angara 1.2 will fly a smaller RD-0124A powered second stage, which may be 2.66 meters to maintain commonality with Block I or stretched to 2.9 meters to maintain a consistent diameter with URM-1. Topic: <laughs> Upper stages. Angara 1.2 will not use an upper stage, nor will Angara A5 when delivering payloads to low orbits. For higher energy orbits such as GTO, Angara A5 will use the Briz M upper stage, currently used for the Proton M rocket, powered by one S5, 98M burning N204 and UDMH, or eventually a new cryogenic upper stage, the KVTK. This stage will use the LH-2, LOX-powered RD-0146D and allow Angara A5 to bring up to 2 tons more mass to GTO. The Block D is being considered as an upper stage when launched from Vostochny since it will avoid the toxic propellant of the Briz M. Variants. <laughs> 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 Topic Angara 1.2. The smallest Angara under development is the Angara 1.2, which consists of one URM-1 core and a modified Block I second stage. It has a lift-off mass of 171 tons and can deliver 3.8 tons of payload to a 200 km by 60 degrees orbit. Topic. Angara 1.2 pp 
a modified Angara 1.2, called Angara 1.2 pp Angara 1.2 per v polyot, meaning Angara 1.2 first flight, made Angara's inaugural suborbital flight on July 9, 2014. This flight lasted 22 minutes and carried a mass simulator weighing 1,430 kg 3 Angara 1.2 pp weighed 171,000 kg 377,000 and consisted of a URM-1 core stage and a partially fueled 3.6 m diameter URM-2, allowing each of the major components of Angara A5 to be flight tested before that version's first orbital launch, conducted on December 23, 2014. Topic: Angara A5. The second Angara developed was the Angara A5 heavy lift launch vehicle, which consists of one URM-1 core and four URM-1 boosters, a 3.6 meters URM-2 second stage, and an upper stage, either the Briz M or the KVTK. Weighing 773 tons at lift-off, Angara A5 has a payload capacity of 24.5 tons to a 200 km by 60 degrees orbit. Angara A5 is able to deliver 5.4 tons to GTO with Briz M, or 7.5 tons to the same orbit with KVTK. In the Angara A5, the four URM 1s used as boosters operate at full thrust for approximately 214 seconds, then separate. The URM-1 forming the vehicle's core is operated at full thrust for lift-off, then throttled down to 30% to conserve propellant. The core is throttled back up after the boosters have separated and continues burning for another 110 seconds. <laughs> Proposed versions. Topic Angara 1.1. Initial plans called for an even smaller Angara 1.1 using a Briz KM as a second stage, with a payload capacity of two tons. This version was cancelled as it fell into the same payload class as the Soyuz 221V, which made its debut flight in 2013. Topic Angara A3. The Angara A3 would consist of one URM-1 core, two URM-1 boosters, the 3.6 meters URM-2, and an optional Briz M or hydrogen-powered upper stage for high-energy orbits. The hydrogen-powered stage for this vehicle, called RCAF would be smaller than the Angara A5's KVTK. This vehicle has no current plans for use 14.6 tons to 200 km by 60 degrees, 2.4 tons to GTO with Briz M or 3.6 tons with a hydrogen upper stage, but could be developed as a replacement for Zenit. Topic Angara A five P Krunachev has proposed an Angara A5 capable of launching a new crewed spacecraft weighing up to 18 tons, the Angara 5P. This version would have four URM-1s as boosters surrounding a sustainer core URM-1 but lack a second stage, relying on the spacecraft to complete orbital insertion from a slightly suborbital trajectory, much like the Buran or Space Shuttle. 
This has the advantage of allowing all engines to be lit and checked out while on the ground, eliminating the possibility of an engine failing to start after staging. The Rode 191 engines may also be operated at reduced thrust to improve safety. Angara A5V Krunachev has proposed an upgraded Angara A5 variant with a new big hydrogen-based upper stage as replacement for URM2 and upgraded engine thrust on the URM1 stages. The thrust up the URM1 boosters would be 10% higher during the first 40 seconds to allow good thrust weight ratio even with the URM2 replaced with the heavier URM2V. Cross feed and even more powerful Rode 195 engines for the URM1 are also considered. The capacity of A5V is supposed to be around 35 to 40 tons to Leo, depending on final configuration. Topic: <laughs> Angara A7. Proposals exist for a heavier Angara A7, weighing 1,133 tons and capable of putting 35 tons into a 200 km by 60 degrees orbit, or delivering 12.5 tons to GTO with an enlarged KVTK A7 as a second stage in place of the URM2. There are no current plans to develop this vehicle as it would require a larger core URM1 to carry more propellant and would have to await the development of the hydrogen-powered engine for KVTK. The Angara A7 would also require a different launch pad. ANGARA-100. The ANGARA-100 was a 2005 proposal by Khrunichev to build a heavy lift launch vehicle for NASA's vision for space exploration. The rocket would consist of four Rode 170-powered boosters, and Rode 180-powered core stage, and a cryogenic upper stage using a modified Energia Rode 0120 engine, the Rode 0122. Its payload capacity to LEO would be in excess of 100 tons. By call Together with NPO Molnaya, Khrunachev has also proposed a reusable URM-1 booster named By call. The URM-1 would be fitted with a wing, an empennage, a landing gear, a return flight engine and attitude control thrusters, to enable the rocket to return to an airfield after completing its mission. <laughs> Specifications Topic Active Topic Cancelled or proposed Topic Testing and Manufacturing The production of the Universal Rocket Modules and the BRIS-M upper stages will take place at the Khrunachev subsidiary production corporation Polyot in OMSK. In 2009, Polyot invested over 771.4 million rub about $25 million in Angara production lines. Design and testing of the Rode 191 engine was done by NPO Energomash, while its mass production will take place at the company Proton PM in Perm. Topic: 
Topic Launches Topic Facilities Angara will primarily be launched from the Pulsetsik Cosmodrome. Beginning in 2021, plans call for it to also be launched from the Vostochny Cosmodrome. This would allow the phase out of Proton, a rocket whose operation at Baikonur Cosmodrome Kazakhstan has objected to, due to its use of large amounts of highly toxic UDMH and N204, and reliability issues. <laughs> List of launches Topic Related Projects The South Korean launch vehicle Naro 1 used a first stage derived from Angara's URM-1 fitted with a lower thrust version of the Road 191 engine called Road 151. The vehicle made its first flight on August 25, 2009. The flight was not successful, but the first stage operated as expected. A second launch on June 10, 2010 ended in failure, when contact with the rocket was lost 136 seconds after launch. The Joint Failure Review Board failed to come to a consensus on the cause of the failure. The third flight on January 30, 2013 successfully reached orbit. Topic: <laughs> Comparable rockets. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> See also. Comparison of orbital launchers families. Comparison of orbital launch systems <laughs>